Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you, as is usual. For this one, we are going to continue on with a series of Scottish beer reviews that I've been doing for you. So this is review number 18 in the Scottish Beer Month series. And for this one, we're going to return to quite a cool brewery. They're the only brewery in Scotland who are based in a national park. These guys are from Aviemore, and these guys are the Cairngorm Brewing Company. And this is the Black Gold, which is their stout beer. This is a reference, obviously, to the fact that Scotland is a very large, oil producing country. We've got the biggest oil reserves in Europe, although there's a lot of controversy over that right now with the independence referendum. The British are very, very scared of losing their oil supply, if you like, which is why they're kind of so hesitant to allow Scotland to become independent and things like that. But that's politics. That's a different issue from beer. Uh, but as is usual then with my beer reviews, I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery. It's quite an interesting one, this. But if you don't want to stick with me for that, then feel free to fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will get straight to the tasting section. The brewery website is in the video description for you below along with a link to the other Cairngorm beer reviews that I've done for you already and there's about three or four of those now so check those out if you are interested. So anyway, the Cairngorm Brewery Company was established in 2001 and it's located in the village of Aviemore in the Cairngorms National Park in the west of Scotland. The brewery's won numerous awards. They probably are actually one of the more decorated Scottish craft breweries but they say that they like to keep traditional recipes alive as well as experimenting with new recipes and different malt and hop profiles with some other kind of twist additions to the brewery. It's quite similar to, they say that they're, um, it's actually quite similar to what Williams Brothers do in Alwa, one of my local breweries actually. But their brew house currently has a 20 barrel capacity which can produce 6,500 litres of ale per day. And most of their beers, both seasonal and year round, are available in half litre bottles. And you can go for tours of the brewery at 2.30 or 2.30 p.m. Sorry, every day, Monday to Friday. And the brewery shop is open Monday to Saturday Saturday every week and on Sundays between April and October as well so you can actually go and have quite a good look around this brewery and talk to them meant to be very very nice I've never actually been to Aviemore so I really need to sort that in fact but with the brewery being located and without within a national park they're quite keen on supporting a lot of the conservation efforts that go on there they've been supporting they've got two beers one called a uh, red I think it's called a uh, Red Rodent or something like that and they've also got the uh, the Wildcat beer as well and they support uh, charities for the uh for the red squirrel conservation and the uh, the wildcats. So obviously, in Scotland, we had quite a bit of a problem because someone brought over the grey squirrels from America and they killed out a lot of our red native ones. And you're actually obliged to shoot a grey squirrel in the forest if you do see it. So remember that if you're out hunting in Scotland. But they actually support a lot of disabilities charities locally as well, as well as the uh, as the kind of conservation nature charities and things like that. And a few of their beers actually, a lot of these beers have a portion of the proceeds are donated to all the charities that it lists on the bottom. So most of them do tell you a little bit about the kind of conservation and things that go on in Aviemore. But they also have a section on the website that tells you about local hotels and bars and things where you can drink their beer as well. So this brewery is actually very cool in their kind of business sense. They're into a lot of charity work and they also like to help their local businesses as well. So very, very cool things seem to go on in Aviemore with that. And hopefully at some stage I can get up there, do a bit of skiing and then go and have a look at their brewery as well. It'd be really cool to see actually. But anyway, that's your sort of brief history of of the Cairngorm Brewery Company, a very cool company in my opinion. Um, but just to list a few of the other beers you can get from these guys, in the regular range you get the Cayley, which is a gold nail. That was the last one I reviewed for you, actually. You get the Ginger Rodent, which is a continental golden brew. That's the one I was telling you about where they, they conserve the red squirrels, actually. You get Trade Winds, which is a golden ale with wheat and elderflower. That's quite an interesting one, but maybe not to everybody's tastes, actually. But the Wildcat is a bitter one. You've got this guy here which is the Black Gold, Stag which is a dark bitter, Cairngorm Gold which is a lager beer, Nessie's Monster Mash which is meant to be a multi amber ale, Blessed Thistle which is a red ale filtered through thistles. That's meant to be a beautiful beautiful beer that. You get Sheep Shaggers Gold as well which is meant to be a continental golden ale and you also get Autumn Nuts which is a red ale. In their seasonal range you get the Winter Flurry which is a bitter, Santa Sledgehammer which is a Christmas ale, Howler which is a strong ale, Mountain Blue which is a golden ale and also Witch's Cauldron, which is a red ale, and the Highland IPA as well. So as you can see, quite a prolific craft brewery in Scotland, and definitely worth checking out if you do get the chance. But let's get on to the tasting of this guy itself. Let me just bring up the camera, and I'll let you have a little look at the artwork on this one here. All their beers are kind of presented in a 
sort of similar fashion if you like you can see it here it's got the oil rig at the back there. and as I said to you Scotland is a hugely oil producing country the biggest reserves in Europe and of course that's what the British are very scared of losing in fact so we'll see what happens in September fingers crossed uh, we get the right result but the whole this wholesome stout has a rich dark color and nutty roast flavor no less than four colors of malt make up the grist a smooth sweetness leads to a dry finish and a satisfying aftertaste no added preservative contains barley wheat and lactose it's got the symbol for the Cairngorms National Park and it's approved by the vegetarian society as well as it shows you on the back this guy is the Cairngorms and this is the vegetarian society and it just says on the other side as well black gold brewed in the highlands of Scotland so very very cool actually and this one is best before 28th of September 2014 so I am drinking it just in plenty of time this is the 23rd of August today so it is about a month away from its best use so let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting here as you can see a nice kind of smoky opening there and this is a pretty beautiful looking beer I have to say you can see it's a nice kind of very dark reddish colour I'll just leave a little bit of it out so we can sugar it up and get some of the other elements of the aroma out. I'll just let you have a look at the bottle cap as well. I forgot to show you that. This is the typical bottle cap from the Cairngorm Brewery. The same as the symbol that is on the bottle there. But I've, it's actually a quite cool symbol. This I do like it. And I will be keeping that bottle cap. And I do have a few of them already. So let me just bring up the light and let you have a little quick look at the colour of this one here. As you can see, it's a very dark sort of rosewood kind of chestnut colour this one if I hold it up to the light it definitely has a bit of a ruby tinge around the edges you can see there's a solid finger of a nice kind of a beige frothy head on this one really attractive looking beer actually there's not much in the way of a carbonation visible kind of coming up towards the bottom of the head there just tiny tiny little bits of it but it's a very attractive looking beer nonetheless so let's give it a smell and see how we get on as you would expect a lot of roasted malts in there, there's a good bit of kind of coffee, kind of roasted coffee malts, but you've got a sweet caramel kind of backing it up there, a very sweet roasted caramel, and there is definitely some, as I say, there is a little bit of coffee in there too. It actually does smell a little bit smoky, I think. Not quite like a Rauch beer, obviously, but it does a little smoky or kind of peaty element to it, which is always a nice little touch to add to some of the darker Scottish beers, in fact. But a very nice kind of dark roasted coffee aroma some sweet caramel and some sort of milk chocolate backing in there as well you can pick up just a little bit of the kind of sweet dark fruits that you would normally expect in this style of beer as well it's a really nice really nice smelling one this so if you do get the chance to try it just take a little bit of time and get an air uh, and enjoy the aroma. I do think you can get this beer in Australia and New Zealand and America and stuff like that so those of you watching in those countries may have a good opportunity to get this and as the idea with this kind of Scottish series of beer reviews that I was doing on my travels was one to allow me to have a lot of Scottish beer before I left because I did miss it when I was living in Germany but it's also to introduce you guys to some of the really good beers that we have here in Scotland so this is the, the Black Gold Stout Beer from the Cairngorm Brewing Company the only brewery in Scotland to be based in a national park Cheers! That's really nice actually. One thing I've noticed with Cairngorm Brewery is that all of their beers have a very, very light mouthfeel. And um, it's something that takes a little bit of getting used to. I have to, I have to admit, when it came to Cairngorm beers before, I did have to take a few, a few uh, kind of sips of them to really get what they were on about. And this one, I think, it's, the difference between this one and the other ones is that you immediately kind of appreciate what this beer is, if that makes sense. It's got a really nice kind of light, wet mouthfeel but it really suits the stout. This is actually a stout that you could even describe as maybe being a little bit more sessionable than some others which is very interesting. It has that typical nice wet mouthfeel that you expect of the Cairngorm Brewery if you're used to drinking their beers. So it comes in with that nice wet mouthfeel. There's a good bit of the red fruit comes out in there so when you take it in you get that nice kind of really kind of red berryish fruit. It's not figs or plums or anything quite as sharp as that. It's definitely a sort of red berry fruit. It reminds me a little bit of, it's maybe like strawberries or something like that. Maybe a kind of candied fruit taste actually. 
like Haribo's or something, but not very sharp at all actually. Definitely a kind of candied reddish fruit taste that comes in on the opening here. And then it just kind of gives way to the, the kind of roasted malts just around the edge of the tongue. It's very, very nicely done. Yeah, I would stick with that. I mean, you've got the nice roasted malts just around the edge of the tongue there. In the middle of the tongue you're getting just a little bit of the caramel coming out, but it's mainly the roasted coffee flavour that goes up the middle of the tongue. And a little bit as the aftertaste kind of progresses a little bit, you get a little bit of the kind of sweet milk chocolate flavour coming out, but the caramel is actually quite faint. It's mainly pushed back in favour of the kind of roasted coffee element. In fairness though, now that I say that, towards the back of the tongue you do get this kind of little bubble forming and that's where the kind of caramel and sweet chocolate malts kind of come out so it's a very very nice beer this actually I really like how it's done and I was I've never tried any other darker stuff because I was really quite interested to see how it compares I do tend to find that breweries tend to have two kind of completely different brewing styles for their dark beers and one for their lighter beers as well and I do have to admit I really like the way these guys are brewing their uh, are brewing their dark beers. If this, if the other ones are like this as well, they're doing superb with these. I actually, I would maybe go as far as saying that I do prefer the darker ones to the lighter ones, but this is a, a really, really nice beer. So yeah, as I was saying, you get the nice reddish fruits open up on the front of the tongue, then it kind of fades a little bit, and you get this roasted coffee malt that spreads out towards the edges of the tongue. It's really, really nice, I think, and very 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 tasty actually and you just get the nice kind of sweet chocolate and caramel forms in that little bit of bubble and I, I do think there is a little bit of a smoky element to the taste on this one it's it's very very well done probably the best of the Cairngorm ones that I've tried so far actually really really nice beer in my opinion um, in terms of the mouthfeel it is surprisingly light for a stout which is what I said at the start of the review it's it's maybe it's just pushing mid body it's quite what's interesting about this is it's quite a sessionable one the carbonation is pretty much non-existent in this actually it just has a teeny tiny little bit at the start that helps bring out that kind of kind of candied fruit flavor i was talking out uh, talking about at the front of the mouth but apart from that it's very very smooth it's got quite a kind of silky mouth feel to it maybe a little bit creamy but as I'm saying, it's a lot lighter than some of the stouts I've encountered before, and this could be fairly sessionable actually. But at the same time, I would I wouldn't actually go and session a few of these. It, you could session it if that's the kind of thing you're into. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is more of a dessert beer. You want to have this with some nice kind of mint chocolate, uh, after dinner chocolate, some ice cream or something like that. This is where this beer would really kind of come into its element. It's very very nice and very light so if you're quite full after your dinner you know and you want a nice kind of dark dessert beer this is probably one that you would go for and as I say this is the, my favourite one that I've probably tried so far from the Cairngorm Brewing Company but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this beer review this is one that I really recommend you try as I say a nice slightly more sessionable style a good dessert beer um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review please let me know in the comments section your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it and please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff I hope you're still enjoying in this series of Scottish beer reviews that I've been doing for you and I will catch you tomorrow with the next one in the series. I'm not sure what it will be but um, I'm sure you will enjoy it anyway. Cheers.